This is lesson seven of Maps Engine Lite. In this lesson, we're going to import the data into the map that was populated in the previous lessons. The first thing we need to do is go back to our map. Now let's zoom out just a little bit. We now need to create a new layer. So click on Add Layer. We're going to give the layer a title by renaming the layer, and this is 2010. Now what we're going to do is click on this button here that says Import. So let's click on Import. Now it's asking me whether I want to upload or go to Google Drive. Now in the previous lessons, we created a spreadsheet with the data that we need, which was a Google Drive spreadsheet. So let's go to Google Drive and navigate to our spreadsheet. And there is our spreadsheet. And then we select. OK, this now lists all the fields from our spreadsheet. We can see timestamp, name of city, etc, etc. It's asking us to select the columns from the file that tell us where to put the place marks on the map. So the ones that we want are name of city and name of country. And then we can continue. We now want to specify which field is going to be the title for our markers. So I'm going to choose date visited long. Now if you remember, this was the date that we created with the formulas and using the add-on from the Google spreadsheet. And then we can choose finish. It's zoomed out to the whole world and we can now see all the data points that were in our spreadsheet are on the map. If we click on one of these markers, it will give us all the information from the spreadsheet. We can edit this marker if we want to. By clicking on this, we can take out this particular field here and then save. We could also edit and we could add a photograph or video if we want to and save. Over here, we can click on the bucket and we can change the bucket. Let's change it to purple and circles. So my third layer here is going to be 2010 and it's the purple circles. We could also add our lines if we wanted to. We could add the lines for the route of the trip that we made. So here, that now concludes this lesson and the course. I would like to say that there are many applications of using Google Maps Engine Lite in the classroom. I've used this considerably in mathematics, understanding area and perimeter, for example, where the children would find locations on the planet and then create shapes from those locations. It also adds a geography element to it as well. I've also used Google Maps Engine Lite with a group of year four students where we study different explorers around the world. Each group in the class took one explorer and we created a layer for each explorer. Those children then would create photographs and videos which could be plotted into each of the points on the map. I hope you've enjoyed this course and take many of the ideas into your classroom.